Yo, what is up boys and girls, it's Vozobit here, once again, with the guitar. Today I'm going to make a custom beat for one of my customers for a damage. He's an upcoming trap metal artist from UK. But basically I'm going to make a Scar Lord type beat with guitars. So today's tempo is going to be 190. This is going to be a fast one. Scarlord type beats have uh, a lot different structure than usual trap beats I was making, for example, like traditional city morgue type beats, something around 100, 110 BPM. If you want to know how to record your guitar for trap metal beats, please check out this video right here where I explained how to record uh, heavy guitars for trap metal beats. And before you start watching, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm dropping lots of cool and useful content right here. So basically, I came up with this riff right here. And I just want to create something with it. This will be like for the main part, the most aggressive part. One, two, three, four. Okay, sounds super fine. Now let's... Uh, make something a little lighter. Let's make uh, like a bridge or something. So just some simple uh, power chords. And check out this melodic riff. I know this riff is not really Scarlordy, let's say. It's not aggressive, it's more like metalcore, melodic kind of riff. But now let's just go back to the heaviness. Let's just make like a breakdown, like... Something like that, really short part. Uh, and then let's go back to the main, uh, like, chorus, aggressive chorus. So that's the structure, the arrangement for the whole beat. It starts with the chorus, like we'll, we'll start with the hi-hats and we'll go straight into the chorus, then there will be a kind of bridge, then the melodic part, then uh, like another bridge, one more chorus. So it's a really, really uh, heavy kind of beat. But before we start making trap drums for this one, uh, along with the 808s, let's make a few drum fills. Uh, you know, when we have those empty spaces, when the riff ends, let's just make something like or or something like that, basically. For this purpose, I'm going to load additive drums on a separate track. I will use United Heavy on the Broken Sign preset. It's pretty fat and pretty heavy. And let's try to find something in addictive drums. Uh, let's choose fills and let's browse through metal fills. That one. Okay, now the fills for the chorus itself. That one with toms, it's great. Okay, that one will be for the ending and that one will be for the middle. I like to add some real drum feels, I mean on an acoustic drum set here and there, it always adds some heaviness to the beat itself. I just like when those trap metal beats are, you know, a little more metal than trap sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I'm just going to make some super hard and heavy buzzing 808 along with super hard trap drums, but sometimes I lack metal in trap metal, if you know what I mean. One, two, three, four. This sounds super hard. Let's add like a crash right here. Another crash. Let's copy and paste them all over the place, excluding those breaks. 
Yeah, that's it. And let's add something like a shaker to the second part of the chorus so it's going to be more interesting as it goes uh, along. This one sounds super cool. Cool, let's leave it as it is. For the intro, let's just take those hi-hats uh, and let's leave them as they are. So the intro goes with the hi-hat, then there is this drum part. And let's try to add uh, a lead guitar right here. So let's take the guitar. I thought we could add a synthesizer, uh, but as I told you, I prefer to use the guitar for everything I can. Uh, even if it doesn't sound like a synthesizer, because that's guitar, uh, but I hope you got the point. Uh, for the lead guitars, I'm going to use Archetype Pliny. Uh, here it goes. Where's my guitar pick? That's the biggest problem of guitar picks. Hopefully, I have some spare ones right here. So, I have this lead tone right here. Let's use it and let's just try to come up with something. Whoa, that pinch harmonics just fit this perfectly. Let's record that. Hell yeah. That's that's perfect. It's not like a you know guitar lead like but it's like <laughs> anyway, let's put the guitar away. Uh, and let's try to figure something out for the rest of the beat because we only have the chorus right now but the chorus is super dope you gotta admit this just sounds heavy for this bridge part i'm going to copy those hi-hats i'm going to fill those empty spaces with hi-hats okay for this melodic part let's try to use the same part the same pattern as we've made for the chorus Fits perfectly. For the hi-hat pattern, I want to use something with triplets. So I'm not going to uh, use something like I'm going to record something more like I know it was uh, a little off, but I will just fix it uh, with, with quantize. I love quantizing. My God, it's the best thing in the world. Quantizing trap hi-hats with all those different roles is just a bliss. It's like, you know, my heart is getting warmer. Okay, I've quantized everything. It took like 10 minutes, but let's have a listen. We got it. So now I have to figure something out for this part right here. Uh, let's start with the snare and just the simple drum pattern and uh, yeah. So basically everything's done. No. We haven't made the 808s. So uh, let's just bring up the heat uh, with the bass right now. In this case, I'm using my own 808, which I have looped right here. If any one of you would like to have this 808, just let me know. So in making that kind of simple trap metal 808, uh, my key is to use like a root note most of the times, sometimes go lower and just make those really high uh, pitch bands like here. It's, uh, those are not pitch bands, just high notes. So let's have a listen. Mm -hmm. 
and let's just make some pitch bends, speaking about pitch bends. So uh, I'm going to use the portamento right here. And let's bring up some heat from this bass because I need this buzz at the very top end. For this purpose, as always, I'm going to use uh, Isotope Neutron's Exciter uh, as well as some EQ, but let's start with the Exciter. So for the high end, I'm going to use uh, Tube Saturation. Okay. For the middle, let's use Retro. Or Tape, yeah! And for the lower, let's use Swarm. And let's make a side chain. And for this melodic part right here, I'm going to make another pattern. Uh, it's the same kick pattern, so it's I could just copy and paste it, but we have completely different notes right here, so it uh, won't sound as melodic as it should. That's everything. We've got the 808s, we've got the whole beat. So that's how you make a ska or guitar trap metal type beat. It's been a long one. I've been making this for almost two hours. But yeah, this was two hours of straight focus on making a beat. So uh, I know it's pretty fast as for making a beat, but anyways. If you want to learn how to make music, how to mix your music, how to do anything with music, with music production, uh, I can teach you. So you can check my offer on uh, my website. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button with all the notifications so you get all the info about new releases. Let me know what you think about this beat in the comments down below and please let me know what artists you'd like to hear about from this trap metal dark rap circle because now I'm going to make more videos like that one so I'm going to pick an artist and make something in his style or at least inspired by his style. Yeah that's all for today guys my name is Dominic you've been watching Vods Beats and keep the good vibes alive.